Okay, are we live? I think we are. Okay, so it's just arrived the Mega SG. I don't know if you can see me there. All right, so it came all the way from Texas. It got to Japan from Texas uh, via FedEx in two days. That's pretty good going. And then it spent two days sitting in a depot here in Japan. Yeah, good going, FedEx Japan. Anyway, it's finally here, so let's get this Mega SG open. All right, and as you see, the room is a complete and utter mess. Um, this is definitely not planned. Look what's still on the table. Yeah, the came out headphones from the uh, last video. And um, for those interested, a packet of uh, sour cream and onion crisps or potato chips, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, okay, we can see we've got some people watching there. Okay, so let's get this open. Now, you've probably seen a Mega SG a million times so far, but uh, yeah. Now, I actually uh, ordered the American version by mistake. I wanted the Japanese one. Um, and in the haste of putting the order in, um, I went and got the American one. Oh well. Alright, let's see. Pops on here. Okay, a nice little message from Analog. I didn't get the controller with it because I've got one of those coming from TomTop. Um, I actually bought one from them because it was cheaper, but it hasn't arrived yet. Alright, so it's packaged mm, fairly well, I guess. Okay, let's get it out. Nothing else in there. All right. Now I already have a Mega S, uh, Mega NT, uh, sort of Mega NT, uh, Super NT, and I have a feeling the box for this is going to be exactly the same. Yeah, it's pretty much identical to the uh, Super NT box. And let's see. Let's get a bit close to close to the camera. Okay. So this is the uh, Analog Mega SG, uh, 1080p HDMI, FPGA console, and it doesn't say what version it is, but I think with the blue bean on there, maybe they've sent me the Japanese one as I requested. Oh no, they haven't. <laughs> it says the, it's the US version. Oh well. All right, let's open this up. The difference between the Japanese and the American version is basically just the color of the reset switch. The uh, Japanese reset switch is blue, where the American one is white. Alright. It's got that uh, nice fabric finish to the box, like the uh, Super NT does. Alright, lovely. Check it out, guys. Inside the top of the box is a little bit of foam to keep it uh, safe. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? All right, let's see what are the comments saying. Oh, do I see the comments on this? Here we go. Pretty big box to ship it in. Yep, <laughs> it certainly is, David. Oh, don't worry, George. You'll get one soon. Hey there. All right, let's get this out of the pack. All right, so I've got to take that cellophane off the top. Oh, I love the sound of that. And there it is, there's the console. Actually, I wonder how big it is compared to the um, Super NT. Let's get the Super NT over, just a minute. Just unplug the cable from the back. Okay, here's the Super NT. Uh, let's get rid of the other. Oh, this game, by the way, will be in the next game and pickups video. All right, so Super NT and the uh, Mega SG. As you can see, they are very similar in size, but I think the Super NT is slightly smaller. 
height wise, yes, it is. Uh, thickness. Yeah, the Super NT is fatter at the back, but uh, thinner at the front. But yeah, overall, yeah, pretty similar. You can see that's got the robot on the bottom too. As does this in a nice little square pattern to resemble the Mega Drive. All right, so let's see what else we get in the box. Yep, that's the American color. I picked it up by mistake. I did want the Japanese one, but never mind. The only difference is, is the uh, reset button is white on this where it's blue on the Japanese version. Not that I'm gonna see that anyway, once it's uh, set up. Okay, so let's see what else we get in the box. All right. So we have the Master System Adapter. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty handy because here in Japan, our Master System games are a different shape. So um, I can't use Western Master System games in my uh, Japanese Sega Master System. But with this, at least I'll be able to use Western Master System games on the Mega, uh, Mega SG. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else do we get. Little brochure. Welcome to Analog. Yeah, fairly nice. We have the power brick. This is a US standard power brick. I believe it's meant to be two amps at uh, five volts. Let's see. I'm getting old. I can't see what it says. Yep, it's 100 to 240 volts input, uh, 50, 60 hertz output, 5 volts, 200, uh, 2,100 milliamps. All right. So that's the plug. You can use that in the US and Japan. Uh, people in other countries will need an adapter. And it has that silky finish to it that um, Analog put on their stuff. That's quite nice. We have an HDMI cable. It's pretty nice. Analog branded. Can you see that? It's quite nice. And we have the USB, what is it, USB micro? Yeah, micro USB cable to uh, charge up the, the, the device. And the uh, Mega CD slip mat adapter, or space up for Sega CD, as it says on that. Yeah, I won't be using that. <laughs> I can go back in the box. All right, and that's the lot. Okay, so let's plug this thing in and see if it works. Hopefully it will work straight away. And uh, to christen it, we're going to play this. This is the um, Streets of Age 2 hack of, uh, I think it's got 20, 26 characters on it. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I know someone's going to ask. I think someone just did ask in the comments that uh, micro SD card goes in here for firmware upgrades. Plus, you can jailbreak it. There's a jailbreak out already. And um, there's the expansion port for attaching it to a Mega CD. All right, let's get this set up. All right. Let's move the camera around. All right, see, so got some of the comments there. But the mouse, the Sega mouse. Uh, yeah, I got a Sega mouse. Not for the Mega Drive though. All right, excuse the mess over here. It's a complete dump. It's uh, in the middle of being sorted out cables everywhere. Good job you can't see down there. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll put it on top of the PC engine for the time being while we test it out. There's a good old silver Mega Drive there. Okay, now where's the power? Would help if I switched on the TV, wouldn't it? Okay, TV on. Power connected. Uh, right, 
we need the HDMI cable, which is here. Do you have that Christmas tree adapter thing that plays SG-1000 games as well as the Master System things? Yes, I do. There it is. It did come in the box. Any upcoming tips for hard off plan? Uh, trips for hard off plans? Yes, there are. Uh, like I said, I got the new phone. I got the uh, Oppo R17 Neo, which is a Japanese only phone. Um, it's kind of a, a mix between Oppo's flagship Japanese uh, Chinese model and um, one of the cheaper models. But this version's only for Japan. And they've, uh, they've left all the good stuff in, but taken out all the crap stuff like the NFC reader. Just to get the price down. Okay, let's plug this into the switch box. Ooh, I've got one HDMI socket left. Alright. Okay, guys. Sorry for showing you my big fat ass there. Let's switch this baby on. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, that's the reset button. Idiot. Okay, powered on. Would help for the TV on the right channel. This is why you shouldn't do live YouTube streams. Okay. To switch over the uh, HDMI box as well. Just a minute. Input number four. Cool. Doesn't seem to be working. Okay. <clears throat> that could be all manner of things. Got the HDMI switch box on the wrong number. Just a minute. And right, when you know it's somebody at the door, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, guys, back. That was the postman. Oh, what? 8.30 p.m. Something from Amazon. Not sure what this is. Funny about opening it. That's a nice one. Oh, dear. It's a copy of Schwarzenegger, the running man. <laughs> the hell? Did I order that? Oh well, I'll watch that later. All right, let's try and get this Mega NT working. All right, so we've got that plugged in. Let's try a TV channel. Might be on the wrong TV channel. I'm sure it's HDMI 1, though, for a um, switch box. HDMI 2 is the Frame Meister. HDMI 3 is the uh, Xbox One. So, yeah. Doesn't seem to be working. I wonder if it needs um, a firmware update before you can actually use the bloody thing. I reckon the next analog system is going to be the Neo Geo. And just check out this switch box.
Guys, you're not going to believe this. The bloody switch box wasn't even switched on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wasn't even switched on. What an idiot. All right. Let's uh, give it a try. It seems to be working. Uh, I'm going to be trying out the uh, Firebrand uh, settings to get this working. Because I believe he does the best settings. So I'll be checking out his uh, demo video later. Yep, it's working. I didn't have the HDMI switch box switched on. I forgot to switch it on via the remote. What an idiot. All right, so let's get the six button, uh, the old style six button pad hooked up. Modified one, so it's got a longer cable than the standard Japanese version. All right. Switch on the sound. Yep, yeah, it works. Let's try out Ultra Core. It's unbelievable how sharp the pixels are. Everything looks so square. Oops. This is a 4K TV, by the way, so it's taking the, uh, I presume the default is 1080p, and it's upscaling that to a 4K. Alright, so it works, good stuff. Okay, let's try out the cartridge, where is it? Let's give this Chinese <laughs> hack of our Streets of Age 2 a try. Fits in nicely. Do like that. That's uh, that's much nicer than the um, Super NT. Okay, wrong cartridge. It actually works. That surprises me with a Chinese hack cartridge. I think I've been had. This is not the hacked version. <laughs> it's meant to have a title screen with um, 20 odd bloody characters on it. What the fuck? It's the normal version. I know Blazer's got new clothes though. Did you notice that? Well, I've got Blaze with new clothes, but that's about the only difference I can see. Let's reset it. Nothing in the options there. Seems only Blaze has different clothes, that's weird. All right, well, that's going back to AliExpress, isn't it? <laughs> Assholes. Send me the wrong bloody game, on purpose, most likely. Okay, anyway, so the Mega NT uh, is working. That's good to see. So I know it wasn't a very exciting, um, what you call it, um, <laughs> unboxing, but there you go. That's what you happens when you do a live video. What's that? Blazer's wearing too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure some people are thinking that. A score the character select. Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. But actually, the screenshot I, I saw had all the characters on screen at once. Hi there. No, scrolling doesn't do anything. Maybe it only works in the dual mode. Let's try that. Nope. 
okay anyway i'll see you in the next uh video coming up uh this saturday um what's that what's the tv brand mark curious it's actually a toshiba um but uh it's actually unbranded toshiba but the boards inside and the screen are all toshiba yeah that's the aliexpress is always a hit and miss chance uh, too bloody right it is um okay anyway yeah so um i'm gonna get working on the next uh battle of the ports video now uh that's gonna be a street racer this uh this saturday so that's gonna be interesting it's got more ports than i thought including the game boy port so that's gonna be pretty cool to see okay but at, uh, until then take it easy and keep on gaming and uh yep em no problem you're welcome See you guys. Now, how do I stop this? I don't know. <laughs> nope. I have no idea how to stop this. <laughs> and I changed the camera. <laughs>